Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and right here is Dot. She wants her a little stick this morning. <laughs> She's uh, has had sort of a rough morning. She uh, uh, didn't hold her uh, pills down very well today with a little bit of peanut butter that I give her every morning. She just did, came right back up. So that's what happens with dogs sometimes. But she seems okay now. Uh, and this is uh, the start of a new week, a new work week. And this is our brief daily message of hope. And I pray that you're in a good place today. Uh, this is a, a holiday in most of the country, Juneteenth, uh, June 19th, which is uh, actually a, primarily a Texas uh, holiday. It uh, involves uh, uh, the Northern uh, General Granger on June the 19th, uh, 1865, uh, sailing into Galveston Harbor uh, in Texas with 2,000 Union soldiers and announcing that the final group of uh, freed slaves was indeed uh, emancipated entirely and completely. Texas was the last of the southern states where all the, uh, the former slaves were, were freed, even though the 13th Amendment had already passed by then on June the 19th. General Granger spread the news into Texas that the, uh, the slaves were freed. And so it's a very important uh, holiday in Texas. And, Texas is very happy to share that with the rest of the country, too, on this Juneteenth. Hope you're having a great day. I was struck by a couple of verses today in the, the mass readings from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, where uh, St. Paul is uh, uh, reminding uh, his uh, church in Corinth, uh, which gave him so much trouble and uh, gave the, uh, the early popes uh, a great deal of trouble also, uh, reminding them not to neglect the grace that God had given to them. Uh, now that's something that really applies to all of us. Uh, we should never go into the day uh, forgetting about the grace that has been bestowed upon us from the Lord. We should never forget that. And yet Paul is reminding them, as he says in 2 Corinthians 6 verse 1, I'm reminding you again, do not neglect the grace that God has poured upon you. Uh, and he said that uh, God says that at the favorable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I came to you, uh, reminding the, uh, the people about how God had come to them in the past and heard them and provided salvation to them. And then Paul says this extraordinary thing. He says, I tell you that now is the favorable time, and today is the day of salvation. Uh, rather than having to look back into the past and thinking of those wonderful moments of spiritual energy that we've had or that our four parents had in the past or our ancestors in the past, today is the day when God's grace is alive in each one of us. So don't neglect the grace that he's given to you today. Uh, cherish it, uh, uh, nurture it and share it with others. Share the good news. Uh, God has indeed showered us with compassion, love, and mercy. And we get to share that great news and that great blessing with others today. Not so much by what we say to them, although that's important, but the example that we give to them through our lives. Smile, be happy today, be joyful, and share that treasured gift from the Lord with others. And I've just been thinking today of the hymn that we sang at Mass yesterday. Oh God, our help in ages past. Another of Isaac Watts' wonderful old hymns from uh, the early uh, years of the 18th century. see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.